So, uh, moving on with the program, um, uh, after that inter interlude, uh, we, um, uh, we're going to briefly uh, introduce the 1990 a bit more formally, and that's uh, my task next. Uh, as uh, Luis and Michelle alluded to, uh, this is the new ambitious treatment target to end the AIDS pandemic. And, um, and, and when we were doing this preliminary work, um, we uh, settled on a definition for the end of the AIDS pandemic uh, as defining it as decreasing the overall burden of disease, morbidity, mortality, and transmission by 90% from global 2010 levels. Um, when Michelle challenged us to uh, come up with a, a target uh, that would reflect the success of treatment and prevention, uh, the mandate that we, we were given was to uh, uh, come up with a, a, a target that would maximize the effectiveness of existing tools to virtually eliminate progression to AIDS, premature death, and HIV transmission by 2020, and thereby transform the HIV AIDS epidemic, or pandemic better said, into a low-level sporadic endemic condition by 2030. A lot of work went into that, uh, and um, as Michel alluded to, uh, uh, he co uh, convocated uh, a scientific and technical advisory group. Many of uh, uh, the members are here today, and we're grateful for their uh, support and, and their um, uh, commitment to that work. Um, once the uh, target started to crystallize, um, Michel and his team took it to the world uh, through intensive uh, consultations, as you see here, uh, that I'm not going to describe, uh, describe in detail, but this is what allowed uh, the process to uh, gain the momentum that it gained, uh, so that ultimately could come uh, to the United Nations General Assembly, where Michel uh, put it in front of the people um, with endorsements that you saw in the video by uh, John Kerry, uh, President Zuma, and uh, quite a number of others. Uh, it was an extremely well-received moment, uh, a day that I will never forget in September 25th of last year. Um, the, the 1990, as, uh, as you heard, uh, calls so that by 2020, uh, we achieve 90% uh, of people infected with HIV globally diagnosed, 90% of those uh, on antiretroviral therapy, uh, high quality antiretroviral therapy, and 90% of those uh, with viral suppression. And, um, and uh, although early on people sort of laugh at the proposition of having uh, viral suppression when there was no viral load test. Uh, through the good work of uh, Michel and his colleagues uh, uh, with industry, uh, this is now becoming a reality, and it's only the beginning of a reality because we anticipate that by having the target, uh, really the effort is going to continue to make uh, viral load testing actually much more readily available, much more inexpensive uh, around the world. So the end result of this strategy uh, calls for 73% of people living with HIV, at the very least, to be biologically suppressed. This is not the maximum goal that we are putting forward. This is the minimum goal that we are expecting. Uh, this is a three-fold increase over the estimates at the time uh, that this uh, work was done. Uh, it's uh, slightly more than two and a half times uh, the number of people that we have on, uh, on treatment today. The, 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 the rationale for this is quite clear. Uh, treatment prevents morbidity, mortality, and transmission. Uh, and the work that uh, we have been discussing at these meetings uh, now for uh, the best part of the last, uh, I forget, eight years or so, uh, uh, really demonstrates that. Uh, the survival advantage of people treated with antiretroviral therapy uh, is such that today approximates uh, a, a near uh, normal lifespan. The recent uh, uh, studies, including the NRS uh, uh, study that was presented at Croy earlier this year, uh, definitively have shown that has shown that uh, immediate initiation of antiretroviral therapy, regardless of CD4, is the way to go. There is nowhere to hide. This is the science, uh, and it has now been actually confirmed by the results of the STAR trial that is going to be discussed in great detail at this conference. I'm not going to go through the details of these uh, studies because uh, you're familiar with them. Uh, it suffice to say that there is no longer any doubt that immediate treatment for all uh, is the new standard of care. And while the guideline process is going to take a little while, I'm happy to see Godfrey with us. Uh, uh, WHO is taking very aggressive steps uh, to move this agenda forward so that within a matter of weeks, uh, we hope uh, we're going to have the definitive guideline uh, that will uh, answer that question uh, because, as I said earlier, uh, there is no longer a question of what the strategy should be. 
we have all of the data. And of course, we owe it to Myron uh, Cohen uh, uh, to have definitively answered the question of the preventive value of antiretroviral therapy in the uh, uh, you know, and couple studies, HPTN052, uh, where uh, he documented greater than 95% uh, 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 decreasing the likelihood of transmission uh, with antiretroviral therapy uh, appropriately used. He's going to be reporting later this week on the final results of this study, uh, which would be critical uh, to further reassure everybody uh, that the results are indeed uh, durable over a long period of time. And of course, we have other evidence. Uh, I, I'll go through this very quickly. Uh, we have now confirmatory evidence uh, that, that this works uh, in MSM. Uh, in fact, it works in any sexual context. Uh, we have populational evidence uh, generated by our own group uh, showing that at the population level, expansion of antiretroviral therapy was associated with decreases, remarkable decreases in AIDS incidence, uh, AIDS-related mortality, and uh, more recently, uh, new infections. And although there are subgroups that have been more difficult to uh, uh, realize the, the, the success of the strategy, uh, we are confident that based on the data that I show you, uh, with continued expansion of coverage, uh, we actually we will get there. And remarkably, uh, the strategy works in the north and it works in the south. The KwaZulu-Natal data uh, is actually uh, quite striking uh, because they have been able to show that for approximately every 1% increase in coverage, we get 1% decrease in incidence, uh, which is the same uh, uh, ballpark relationship that we have seen in the expansion of antiretroviral therapy in the province of British Columbia. And as Ruben Granich and others have uh, shown, in fact, we have a paper coming out, uh, 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 I believe, yesterday or this weekend in Lancet HIV by Bora Nosica, our health economist, uh, confirming this data with our uh, own experience in British Columbia. Uh, investing a little bit more on antiretroviral therapy not only saves lives, saves new infections, but actually is cost averting. And this is a modern, uh, uh, modern exercise in South Africa demonstrating that, yes, there is a spike early on, but you go on to save tremendous amount of uh, uh, money. And at a time where our uh, uh, financing of the response is so, such a critical issue, knowing that the short-term investment will lead to uh, uh, the savings that these kind of models demonstrate uh, should be very comforting uh, for those that had to uh, 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 bring up the resources to, to do this. As I said, uh, the antiretroviral therapy guidelines are evolving very rapidly. Before the end of the year, we will have moved to a treat-all uh, strategy uh, that will open the door for us to offer treatment to every single person infected with HIV around the world. And in doing so, as the Stober uh, report uh, uh, demonstrates, uh, will uh, pretty much get us to the level of impact that we want to have, nearly a 90% uh, estimated decrease in new HIV infections and nearly a 90% uh, decrease in, um, in AIDS-related deaths. Uh, uh, so at the end of the day, by 2030, uh, we should be in a position to deliver on the promise of the 90-90-90. On that note, uh, I'll probably... Uh, uh, let you move with the rest of the program. Christina, 